Hey there folks, Uranium T here, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy XIV. It's time to do the Rising 2021! Yes, I know the Rising 21 just recently went up, but hey, it's 2021 now, and the Rising comes. So I think I'm gonna be on auto. I think, I, yeah, I am on auto. Oh, you're an adventurer, are you? Was there something I can assist you with? Now I think about it, perhaps it is you who can assist me. I'm Kimba Jacket, reporter for Gridania's leading tabloid, The Raven. Might I steal a moment of your time? So here's the thing. Just recently, an unusual visitor cut through Gridania's markets like a scythe in a frenzy to purchase every Nemea lily available. And I mean all of them. For what purpose, I hear you ask? Well, my friend, I sense the answer to that question will provide the basis for my next scoop, so I did some nosing around. No one I talked to could name to our mysterious flower fancier, but by all accounts, he and his cargo hold of the lilies had departed for Ulda. Not wanting the trailer to grow cold, I quickly grabbed my quill, no pet, and boarded an airship myself. And was quickly reminded of how hard it is to chase a story in unfamiliar territory. You know, this talent is people well enough, though, don't you? We'll see you lending a hand to my investigative efforts. Sure. Level, then we've no time to lose. First things first, we must pay a visit to the nearest drinking establishment. The local tavern is always the best place to pick up tidbits of gossip and rumor. Alright. I don't really look at the wording on that there. What was it? Like a scythe. Okay. Okay. Got it. Those are some serious faces. What can I do for you this fine afternoon? Oh, playing reporter, are we? Sounds like fun. Let's hear your questions then. We are attempting to track down a particular someone who purchased a suspiciously large number of the male lilies in Gridania before transporting them to Ulda. Any idea who this person might be? Hmm, we've more than our fair share of traders coming and going, and a uh, large shipment can arrive in the city is hardly a noteworthy occurrence. But now that you mention it, I do remember this florid minstrel fellow who came in just the other day. Say so pulled him from Gidonia and needed help hauling a hefty delivery to the Alchemist Guild. He's actually a familiar face in these parts. Never think of his name, though, strangely enough. Nameless traveler arrived from, from Gridania with a sizable cargo to move. That sounds promising. Excellent. It was just a request to move cargo. Before you run off to a possible dead end with the alchemist, I suggest you fish for more information inside the quick tent. After all, where else can you find so many gossipy adventures crammed into one spot? That certainly makes sense between the two of us. However, I see no reason why we cannot do both. I shall stay here and interview the client's hell while you chase down our other lead at the alchemist guild. What do you think? Then that will be our plan. Once you've spoken with the potion mixers, make your way back here and discuss any new revelations. Alright, to the Alchemist Guild then, I guess. Where are you? Over here. So boldly do approach the master of his profession. I warn you, this matter, matter best be deserving of the precious moments you steal away from my unending research. You question me for a tabloid piece? Away with you! I refuse to waste another instant on this trivial nonsense. Ah, but just a moment. Perhaps there is a trailer skull you value after this after all. I've been able to recall the flamboyant character of whom you speak and his request to process a vast quantity of floral material. It's laughable that I would undertake such a menial chore, of course, so I signed the task of Mr. Ordinance if you wish to discuss the tedious details of the day church. Is your man? Why, 
I should be delighted to assist you. This is regarding the large delivery of the Mayor Lilies. Yes, the guild did accept the task involving such flower so flowers as commissioned by a nomadic minstrel gentleman. And though I cannot reveal the nature of what, what we produce, I can tell you that it shall be distributed among the populace as part of the events of the Rising. If you wish to know more, then might I suggest you speak to the gentleman himself? But you could say where he is. No. I'm not sure you're back. Did the alchemist offer up any new information? To summarize, this famously unnamed minstrel of nomadic inclination commissioned the manufacture of some as yet unknown item they handled out, handed out during the Rising. Oh, I heartily agree that we should speak with him directly. As luck may have it, I've just discovered that he needs to put on the performance of the Ru Ruby Road Exchange. I think it's time for one of my patented on the spot interviews, don't you? We hurry over, we can catch him before he takes the stage. Here. Greetings, sir. I'm terribly sorry to interrupt, but you are the famous wandering minstrel, are you not? I am indeed. And look whom you've brought to see me! Was there aught I could, might do for you, fine people? Not following you, to be perfectly honest, I am curious to learn more about the wig and little lilies you turned over to the alchemist, not to mention your plans to distribute the results of their work. You followed me? How did you, I, I mean, why did you? Ah, ready for the raven. That explains much. And did you also learn what I tasked the alchemist to create? Is the coral out of the bag for our all to smell? No, I... We were hoping you might tell us. Good. Then my surprise remains unspoiled. The plan, if you must know, is to hand out bundles of potpourri to all and sundry during the rising. As in flowers mixed with spices? That aromatic stuff you see in the bowls on parlor tables and the like. The very same, except my apophory will delight the eyes as much as the nose that thinks the alchemical wizardry infused by my co-conspirators. Yet even with, uh, with, without such enhancements, the scent of Nemea lilies is known to promote calm and tranquility. Rising is a time of remembrance, of mourning. It's a time when sorrow can overwhelm folk who lost friends and loved ones in the seventh umbral calamity. It is my hope that the lily that's gentle perfume will afford such burdened souls a modicum of peace during the off, this off times melancholy memorial. Oh my, what a genuinely lovely idea. Only just this moment we were making arrangements for a <clears throat> showcase of my humble talents, where I shall hand out potpourri bundles to the audience. Again, I am glad we met ere you inadvertently spread word of our little surprise gift. I trust you now have sufficient detail to write your article. Oh yes, I have plenty to work with. Thank you. Splendid. Now, since you've joined the inner circle, so to speak, we must have you play a role in the performance. Ah, you need a, you need a friend, so I merely wish for your assistance in passing out potpourri. I can supply the crowd at the show, but it wouldn't be most helpful if you might deliver bundles to some other part of town. Oh, we would be happy to, and it can only help me flesh out the, and it can only help me flesh out the story. Yeah. Let's head back to the quicksand adventure. If we hand out bundles there, we, then we can be sure to cover folk from every corner of the city. We were low on helping hands to tell the truth, so this has worked out for the best. Please come and meet me at the Ruby Road Exchange once you finish with your task. Let's get to work, shall we?
is it you're giving out there, adventure? Ah, I noticed it in the mail, Lily, yes? The flower is often placed on the graves of the fallen, a practice, practice with which I am, alas, intimately familiar. Why choose this particular bloom? I see. Perhaps the perfume does remind one of the peace of repose rather than the violence which took our companions from us. It would seem the minstrel has given the matter some thought. For cardinal veterans such as myself, the reason for the right, the season of the rising can be a torment. Like the throbbing pain of an old wound. I will keep this bundle close, I think, and breathe in its calm whenever I feel my thoughts turning grim. Keep it busy there, aren't you, Arya? I know it's for the rising and all, but it tickles me to see a hero of your stature handing out presents like a simple errand girl. I mean, ever since the first time we met, you've always been the type to lend aid where it's needed. And you haven't changed one bit. It makes me happy it does, not to mention a little misty ad. The good you've done for folk will linger on an unshakable foundation for your future. Keep going the way you're going, my friend, and we'll all be the better for it. Here, why don't you let me have whatever bundles you've got left, and I'll put them together with the ones I took from your reporter friend. If we leave a basket full out on the guild counter, I guarantee they'll hand themselves out before the rising is over. Mistress Mimodi took a goodly amount off my hands, but I think we've done out our fair share of the work. Well, we should go and see the minstrel and let him know we've completed our task. The reporter and most qualified assistant returns. The performance went well, I must say, but what of your story research? Are the townsfolk willing to share any moving material? Yes, they were unexpectedly forthcoming. I was regaled with many an anecdote from those who lived through the calamity and privileged to hear their treasured memories of those who did not. Back when the calamity was poised to strike, I had only just earned my reporter's quill. I was rushing around town, questioning adventurers and taking notes. This dilemma descended upon every lower. The streets erupted into chaos. It was then that I fled with my younger brother to the border in relative safety. There were a few less prudent friends and colleagues who might still be here if they had done the same. In the years since, the world has risen from the ashes. I've done my best to rise along with it, but there are things I cannot name, should not forget. Such are the thoughts which have blossomed in my mind when I breathe in that potpourri's perfume. I've enjoyed a collaboration this day adventure, and I shall attempt to write a piece that does it justice. What do you say to a rising column as a title? Fitting. I look forward to reading it. I too sense the stirring of a new composition, a hopeful verse dedicated to the continued safe passage of those who yet ascend the path out of catastrophe and despair. Greetings, Warrior of Light. You needn't be alarmed. The 
This is a world that exists outside your reality. Could it be a dream? A flight of fancy conjured by your weary mind. Perhaps, or perhaps not. What a pleasure it is to welcome you here again, Arya. And what a privilege that your chosen trail should run alongside mine for so long. On a day such as today, I hope you will forgive me a brief bout of nostalgia. It's been an entire decade since I first came to this world. I was a stranger here, a traveler in a troubled land. The quest for its salvation consumed my every moment. Countless trials were met and overcome, and the world not only survived, it flourished. This victory we owe to those who persevered alongside us, to those who explored and nurtured and loved this realm as much as we. Yes, it is you of whom I speak, of our indomitable adventurers. Ten years is a long time, yes, but for me the number holds no special significance. It is a simply a count of the passage of days. Success, however, would not have come without that accum accumulation of daily effort, and that is what makes it a milestone worth making. Thank you for staying the course with us these many years. I will keep making plans for this world for the foreseeable future. It has become a part of my life, and to see it grow is an adventure in itself. Rest well, warrior of light, for a grand convergence of events approaches. May the road upon which you must embark become the greatest of all journeys. Until we meet again, my friend. rendition and now I really must head home to write that article you have my gratitude Arya I would still be floundering in the street without your assistance until we meet again Chaos many, a great many lives were lost in the flames of the calamity, not to mention the chaos which followed. Yet it is the survivors who must face the challenges of living in this new era we have salvaged. To you, the champion and the vanguard of our efforts, I dedicate these verses. Scarred by the falling of fiery stars, the land is reborn with new life. God slayer struck by an echoing roar, heavens ring with a promise of strife. Beast and man both seek freedom of, or death in bloody inferno untamed. By unbroken hopes from a sky long undimmed shall the darkness of Eld be reclaimed. A merciless gale and an ending road, if this is the path we are fated. And pray be our dawn in the rift betwixt worlds, your soul's splendid light unabated. I really must apologize for pressing you in the service for my potpourri scheme. I tend to consider your adventurers as fellow wanderers and call upon the assistance of your kind with a little reservation. As for the gifts themselves, there was another reason as to why I chose the Maya Lily. Traditionally, the bloom is said to represent a prayer for safe passage. The way ahead yet promises more hardship, and I wanted at the very least to wish you, all of you, the smoothest road for the coming journey. There's supposed to be a sound there, but it's like there's so many people, it's lagging. 
So, yeah, that wraps up wraps up the Rising 2021. She got my first ever, first parasol. Yay! <laughs> yeah, literally my first one. So, I guess in the next part we will continue where was left off in Round Reborn. I think we're in 2.4? No, 2.3. We're in 2.3. Yeah. Anyways, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, consider liking, commenting, and or subscribing if you really enjoyed it. Consider supporting the channel. All support greatly helps to keep being content like this and more. You can find the links for that in the description. Well, links to me on social media. So thank you again for watching. And until next time, this is Rinny Auntie, signing out. Bye!